So in case you eventually want to do anything with your um, network uh, stream with the data that, that comes in via the network, your motion data, and you will have to read from it. And you can do that with a very simple um, C-sharp uh, application. It, it's in the .NET framework. And it's just pretty much the simplest version that I could come up with. <clears throat> Uh, what it does, it's well. That's the the main function. That's that's actually the whole program. And what it does, it it creates a listener that listens to whatever is going on on that uh, on that port. And we're getting a, a new TCP listener under this IP address and under this port. And we're basically sitting there and waiting. And then we start that uh, listener. And we're informing the user that the server has been started. And then there is an infinite loop. And we go, okay, we're waiting for a connection. And whenever there is, well. This function accept TCP client. So whenever someone connects, then that function will put its return value into the client, and we can write, "Hey, yay, something re connected." <clears throat> We're creating a reader and a writer. That's the stream reader object, and then we can just uh, use these to read and write to and from the network stream. Uh, this is the string that we're using. It's so far it's empty, and then we're in this uh, infinite loop, and we go, "Okay, whatever is in that string," and then we go like, "Okay, put." whatever comes from that function, reader.readline, and put it in the string, and then show it to the user, console.writeline. And if that is exit, then you can break out of that loop and go down here, reader close, writer close, client close, and we are getting back up here to wait for a new connection. And that's pretty much the, the bare bone basics that I could come up with. Now let's take a look how it works. This is the program. It just waits for a DCS connection. Well, actually, it doesn't know what connects. It just knows that <laughs> it just knows to wait on this IP address and on this port. And it's basically just one giant ear waiting for something to come in. And as soon as something does come in, let's take a look at this. We just manipulated the export.lua to, ah, there it is. It's connected. And when we hit fly, then the data is being sent to the network stream, DCS is sending the data to the IP address 127.0.0.1 and the port 3.1.0.9.0. And that's all it cares for. And this program really doesn't know what's coming. It just knows that it's, it's supposed to listen on that IP address on that port and whatever comes is being displayed to the user. So that's about as easy as I could get it. Now let's do this, let's quit, and then it says exit, great, that's it. And now it's waiting for a new connection, and if you want to fly again, just hit fly again, and you could do the same thing as often as you want. It's an, it's an infinite loop, you'll actually never get out of it. Hit fly, there it is. Hit quit, it exits. Okay, well that's it. And I wish you a lot of fun playing around with it. This is the code, feel free to copy it, to use it any way you like.